of Scrollgers. It's nerf here. And we have our next set of games against WBMC. Looks like we're both playing Order. Is this a good starting hand for uh, late game Order? With Arbalesters. It's a close call because um, there's really not that many good cards to play in the beginning, but I kind of like being able to play a Partisan on turn 3. Probably top deck, you know, something I play in turn 4. And then I have the Prisoner's of War for turn 5. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this hand. So my late game order deck, I haven't shown it on the channel for a long time. I haven't shown it at least since I started uploading again. Um, I am not running any Manganels, so Arbalestier is my is my board clear method. I think that's the way to go. Keeps the deck a little more free. Squire, okay, so he's more of a tempo deck, I guess. Imperial Resources. I'm going to get rid of one of the Arbalisters now. It's going to be tough to get them out back to back, especially if he's on turn 7. I'm going to want to play the... Uh, the other Arbalister. So at this point, he probably knows that I am uh, playing late game order. Because the fact that I didn't mulligan my hand, so that means I'm perfectly fine with the starting hand, is <laughs> pretty weird for um, the deck I have. It's pretty weird for an order. Oh, I hate, I really don't want to sacrifice two Arbalisters, but I think I'm going to have to do it. I just think Tempo Theft is better. So I'm going to get rid of that. Okay, sorry about that. He just played a uh, Ducal Skirmisher and moved his row down. I did top deck something I could play, which is good. Um, so I will go ahead and play it. Gonna get rid of the Tempo Theft now. I already sacrificed two Arbalisters and a Tempo Theft. That is not the best thing. But what can you do? At least this, this spiky guy is gonna have to be dealt with by somebody. He's spiky three, too. That was a change towards the end of Scrolls. Okay, so next turn, I'm probably gonna play Prisoners of War. Okay, so he plays that. I didn't love seeing that because it's a trade that I wanted him to have to hit twice. Um, hmm. Interesting sacrifice here. Very interesting sacrifice. I really don't want to get rid of any of the Imperial resources. The problem is, I'm going to hit this. I'm obviously going to hit that guy with that. The question is, I can finish it off with a Gabonk and save the Prisoners of War right now? Or play the Prisoners of War and get a Ragged Wolf, but that does, you know, probably ensure him destroying my row, anyways. I think I'm going to get rid of the Gabonk and play the Prisoners of War. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the third Arvalist here. I have three, um... Let's play it. And now we're just going to hit it. I mean, I have five health here, so it's going to be... It will survive. This guy will survive with one health unless he has, not like, a, another one of these guys or a Duke Limiter Man, which I assume he'll play. But there is something to be said for just blocking idle damage against Temple Order anyways. So, pretty greedy there. Kabanka is just such a valuable card, I think, for late game order. Oh, wait. I kind of regret that now because I could have played an Arbalester next turn. Maybe I should have just gotten rid of the Kabonk. Or played the Kabonk and saved the, save the other thing. Now I kind of really want to top deck something that I could play, play next turn. I mean, I could play Kabonk and draw another card too. Which uh, is likely what I'll do. He went for scrolls, so probably like, probably uh, tempo order. I'm hoping he doesn't have a way to just clear the row. He does. Is that his whole turn? Okay, well, at least we're okay on idols right now. Pother. I'm gonna go ahead and kabonk this guy. And please top deck a unit I could play. Another kabonk. I'm just gonna kabonk him again. Okay. Whatever. Do I pother? Nah. Okay, we're gonna go for uh, we're gonna go for some imperial resources now. So for this tournament, I thought if I lose a single game again, I probably won't be able to win at all because the O2 against Valentine makes it pretty unlikely because it's just a round robin over as the best winning percentage. So even if I win four games in a row now, I don't know if four and two is gonna be enough to cut it to win, and that's even a tall task because uh. Alpha Century and WBMC are formidable opponents. We see I'm on the back foot in this game already. It's possible to come back, though. Cons uh, the Infiltrate, I wish I had that last turn. Okay, Winged Sorceress. I haven't seen this card played competitively in a while. It's like a purification kind of thing. Not too strong. Wisely hits the same idol, so I don't get as much idol heal. Okay, I did need that Royal Inspiration. Because 
I got the third Imperial Resources. I needed that Royal Inspiration because I sacrificed all three Arbalisters. So that's going to be the way I can get another Arbalister. Problem is, once I play that, he'll know an Arbalister is coming. Okay, so how can I stop all this from happening? I don't have a Tempo Theft or Speed in my hand. So, <laughs> even having an Arbalister right now is not that important. I haven't gotten my, my units that I usually have. I, I have all the spiky spearmen in the deck, I have the Righteous Partisans, I have the Ace Morin Scholars, I need those bodies on the board, you know? Although this is ranged, so it's not as valuable against my spiky dudes. Oppressor's Rule could be a good card to play. It's kind of a gimmicky card, I usually don't get to play it, but uh, if, like, for example, if Tempo Order takes out an idol and then has a couple strong guys uh, going to attack a row, I can force them to stay in the row and waste their attacks unless they have, like, a Pother or Rosa Beam Potion. Okay, so he's going to put that in Decimation range. Another Wing Sorceress. Not maximizing idol damage there because of the uh, Brad Mercenary. Okay, he's kind of playing into an Arbalister form formation. Okay, I'm just going to... Okay, now I have a Tempo Theft, so we're going to... I can't do it at this turn. I'm going to Imperial Resources. Hmm. And now I'm going to... Hmm. I should keep both Royal Inspirations, right? <laughs> Take rid of a Pother? Pother's a nice card, though. Let me get rid of a Pother. I think everything else is a little more valuable. Royal Inspiration. Okay, we have an Arbalister. Okay, I got. I can play 11 resources next turn. I don't, unfortunately, don't have a Resonant Sword. Um, maybe I should have kept that Pother. I don't have a Resonant Sword. So it's going to be hard to like really clear a row. But a Arbalister Tempo Theft would stop the Skirmisher from attacking. Okay, so he's going for cards. He, he knows that the longer this game goes on, the advantage goes to me. So he has to try to take things out. Okay, so he's going to take out the idol. And leave another one pretty low. Okay, so if I do an Arbalister this turn... Hmm... That's going to do a lot of damage. Okay, I think this is where... This is where I play the <laughs> Oppressor's Rule. Because that's going to lock these guys in this row. So can I make can I make this thing attack anyways? So that would be... So Arbalistir Tempo Theft would be 9 attack. Would be 9 resources. And then I can also do a Oppressor's Rule to stop these from moving. I don't know if I want to do both of that in the same turn. I think I'd rather... If I, if, if I keep these guys here, they're kind of stuck, that's a thing. I want to heal this idol though while I can. Okay, I'm going to... Righteous Partisan. I don't think I can afford to play uh, other things this turn. I'm going to infiltrate... Ace Morin... Alright, I'm going to go ahead and infiltrate this. I don't want to see anything happening there. And now I'm going to Oppressor's Rule, lock those guys into place, hopefully they don't have a pother, and uh, Royal Inspiration just so I have another one of those, and I don't like sacrificing that, but I will. Okay, so he could win with um, Roasted Bean Potions, Pothers, but we will see. At least this means that if he doesn't have Roasted Bean Potion, or he, he went for resources, so he probably has the win. Or probably has close to it. There's a unit here and then a paw there. Okay, maybe he doesn't. Oh, he just wanted to fill the board. Okay. Okay. And now it's Arbalistir time. So Arbalistir tempo theft. I'm gonna tempo theft this. I don't want to see that do anything. Um, I think I'm gonna have to deal with some of these units. Actually, no. I think I have to deal with this row. <laughs> that row is a little more scary. Or I could just, you know, hope he doesn't have a pother and leave this at the bottom. So I Arbalistir Tempo Theft here. Arbalistir Tempo Theft. Yeah, I'm going to do it here, actually. For the focus, we can do 8, 8, 4, 2. I could Arbalistir Tempo Theft focus to take out that whole row. I'm going to do that. Arbalistir Tempo Theft. And then let's go for the focus. I don't know why I'm not sacrificing. <laughs> 
Um, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the Royal Inspiration now. Okay. And we re I'm going to put this... I guess that's a fine spot for it. Okay. So I don't have to worry about this thing attacking. <laughs> Those are resources. Does he have it? Does he have a Roasted Bean Potion Focus? There's a first estimation. Does he have a second? GG. Late game order does not prevail. WMVMC goes first again. Yeah, I'm playing Gravelocks this game. <laughs> and, um... I figure... I don't know. It's... It's kind of like... If I keep this hand... I think I want a two drop. Those are two drops. What kind of deck is he playing? Let's go ahead and sacrifice the Desperation. More of a gimmicky card with uh, the Raider with Relentless. So, I'm already 0 3 in the second round. So, I don't really want to. Um, I don't really want to go try hard with Tempo Order, because even if I go get three wins in a row now, I don't think that's enough to win the tournament for sure. So, may as well see if I can uh, win with a fun deck like Gravelocks. Unfortunately, I went second again here. Tried suggesting WBMC that we do the. Uh, do, I, do we just avoid playing this two health creature? Maybe. I tried suggesting to WBMC that we avoid the whole. Avoid the random chance of going first uh, by. Set it. Because me and Valentine are arguing, set up the matches so that the challenger always goes first. And it avoids somebody getting lucky and going first both times. But. It's all good. Fortunately, I can't play Burn now. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the third Fury. I go for resources. I go for scrolls. I'm going to go for scrolls. I don't really want to play the Hard Smuggler. <laughs> it's just going to get um, killed. Snarl Omelet. Pay two energy and sift two grave locks from your library. I kind of like that. That means I have to play a lot of cards to get rid of stuff. I'm going to go ahead and. I'm going to go ahead and just play units, because if he plays... Now, I'll play two of these uh, two things at a time, because that way... I don't know. The, the, it's like when they have two things to soul steal, it's less... It's less... Uh, it hurts less when they soul steal. So next turn, I can burn. Following turn, I can Snarkle Omelette and something. I want to like get rid of my card so I can start ramping up a Snarkle Omelette. Obviously, the Elder would be good because that way I would get my guys out of burn range. Or out of Soul Steel range. Graveblock Burrows. That's an interesting card. Because the Graveblock Burrows, next turn this is going to hit me and then I'll have this guy, these guys will have more attack. Tempting to play, but I don't think I'm going to do it. I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of. The, er, actually, I'm going to get rid of the Thunder Surge. Yeah, Thunder Surge is going away because I want to get rid of my cards and I can play cards that are smaller faster. I could hit this now and then... I'm afraid of a Witch Doctor next turn, so I'm going to take that out now. Okay. So I'll hit that. Move these guys down, obviously. I'll just keep that up there. So now I'm expecting a Witch Doctor. Don't have a way to dispose of the Witch Doctor at the moment. Now I wish I had the Desperation for this uh, this guy, the Raider. So this turn, I can get rid of all my cards by playing Snarkle Omelette and Gravelock Burrows, getting rid of the Iron Whip. I might want to use the Iron Whip, though. If if the Packhouse deals two damage to the Outcast, though, that Iron Whip cannot work on it because the Iron Whip would kill it. So I'm hoping that the Packhouse deals damage to the Gravelock Guard. Could also maybe play both of these, but then I get rid of the Snuggle Omelet. Considering I am going to draw another Star Omelet from the Smuggler next turn. Okay, so he's going to hit that. Witch Doctor goes there. Okay, I don't think I have to do any, like, Iron Whips or anything. I mean, sure, I'd be able to kill more stuff, but... I think it's more important that I... ramp up soon. So, goodbye, Iron Whip. Now I'm going to play the Snarkle Omelette up here. I'm going to play the Gravelock Burrows because I have to play cards anyways, and this is going to last a long time. Hopefully it doesn't have like a rattle him. And I will 
Could try to get lucky and ping this and then hit that with that, but that's... I think it's getting a little too lucky. And I think, uh... That'll do it. I'm gonna move this in front. I'll do one damage to this put it in burn range. Okay, unfortunately, it's almost like drawing that card of the Smuggler hurts me a little bit because I really need to get rid of my card so I can start playing the, paying the energy. Because if you didn't know how Snarl Llama works, you gotta have a... Uh, you gotta have no cards in hand. And with this Gravelock Freak, I can just play next turn. Okay, I'm waiting for the Soul Steals now. Languid kind of hurts this because now it can't kill anything. It's kind of just gonna be a wall for these guys in the back. Thunder Surge would have been nice to keep for now. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have gotten rid of it. I feel like with energy, you need to draw your cards at the right time. At the right time only. Okay, just a wall. I'm gonna go ahead and. I think I just played the Freak. Potion of Resistance is nice, but Decay can always Damn and Curse it. It would, it would be nice to put it on this because I don't think he wants to like waste a Damn and Curse on a one attack Gravelock Outcast. So it's tempting. But I'm not going to do it though. I'm going to deal damage there. Yeah, does he have a Necro Gun or something? Maybe he has a Necro Gun. Um. I'm going to put the guys that are attacking behind there. If he has a Necrogeddon, he has a Necrogeddon. I'll let him do it. It wouldn't be like the best value for him, I don't think. He could clear this row, or clear the Smuggler, but... Dude. I'd immediately kill one of them back with the uh, Freak. Okay, he's not going to Necrogeddon. Yeah, I guess the Watcher was just purely a wall. So we want a top deck, I guess, with Thunder Surge. But... Even if we don't, I think I'm just going to fill the board with... Alright, he's going to hit that. I guess he wants to save Soul Seal for that. Also, that's a fine play, considering if he hits the Gravelog Outcast, this Freak attacks anyways. Okay, at least these guys have more attack now. Bound Dispersal. Bound Dispersal is nice. The problem is... I want to get rid of it. The problem is I want to get rid of it. Because I want to be able to start ramping up. And I think that's what I'm going to do. Because if I ramp up, it's going to be hard for him to stop him. So I'll play the, well, I'll play that on that. I'm going to draw the Elder. Maybe I should just play the other guy. But I kind of like how this works. So I will kill that. I want to, I'll just ping something, I guess. And I'll protect this. Okay, I think that works. Ah, that was the worst. Actually, it doesn't really matter. He had the Glomus anyways. Okay, so now if he Necrogeddons, he could kill a bunch of things. So I hope he doesn't Necrogeddon now, because I'm one turn away from playing the Elder, which would increase everybody's health. Or he wouldn't kill that many things because of this Outcast. I could see a Damon Curse now on the Outcast, and then he's able to destroy the Freak. Ah, uh, Unbind. That is the perfect counter to that. <laughs> Crap. Light bearer. Okay, this is getting concerning now. Corrode. I don't think I'm doing corrode stuff soon. Question is... I think I get rid of my cards here. And go for resources. I really want some kind of desperation or something. At least this guy's not going to be able to be uh, dealt with next turn. So we're going to put this here and put that there. Um, problem is, it's not almost three health, so I think I'll put that as a wall in front of these. You can't, it's gonna be hard for him to destroy everything. And then I'm going to play the Elder. Okay, we're finally getting rid of our cards. Great blocks are a weird deck to play. And the thing is, I can't really play many spells because I'm just ramping up. I just have to kind of overwhelm him with my creatures, which might be possible. Necrogun here would be not bad because it could poison both of these. It could poison both of those as well as clear this row. So I think that. Alright, he's not going to Necrogun because he moved that back. Um, sorry about the fan noise. I have multiple computers here that are making noise. It's a lot of units. I kind of wish I had that uh, Valent Dispersal for the Witch Doctor. <laughs> 
Okay, give me a desperation. Potion resistance. I'm not going to play that. I think I'm just going to ramp up. Snog all unique. Doesn't really do anything else. Okay, Grave Lock Elder, I think, is the move. And then I'll pay another two. So. I can't do much damage here, unfortunately. I'm not going to bother get letting him draw cards like that. I'm just going to hit the idol with that. Um, I am going to move in, though. I have to start, like, doing something here, you know? Man, I wish I had a... I almost end my turn. I have to pay my two energy. I don't have much of a choice there. Okay, we... Are at a weird point. <laughs> Very weird point. So I can't give this guy like piercing or anything. It'd be hard to get rid of these units. Especially with that witch, witch doctor out. Okay. Annoying, but not the worst thing. Goes for resources. Another witch doctor, maybe. Or Hall's well, Masa, maybe. At least I've ramped up to good resources, so I can play things. Eventually, I'm just going to be playing beefier things that I could deal with, right? So if I go for resources again, play the Freak, I could play the... I could pay another 200, and then I can play a 2-drop thing if I draw it, too. And the, another Witch Doctor. So if I play enough... And now he's top-decking, too. Okay, I am going to, uh, I think, ramp up again. Might be pretty crazy, but... Cause what, what what else do I want to happen? Like, what am I gonna draw here? Thunder Surge. I'm just gonna. He's just gonna. He's still gonna get an extra if, if I Thunder Surge. I'm just gonna keep going. I am gonna give him cards though. I think. He's gonna deal damage in. Yeah, I think I'm gonna give him cards. Move up there. Uh, I want to protect my things that... I want to protect the elders for sure. Is it Necrogeddon time for him? So this this up here, this means that Necrogeddon would not destroy both idols. Both elders. I could put the copper down. Yeah, I'm going to put the copper down. Now I'm going to pay. And let's take another guard. And end our turn. And he gets cards. Okay, so, Necrogeddon would suck because he would kill a lot of things as well as poison a lot of things, but that's what my plan is. I think I have another Thunder Surge in the deck somewhere, though. So after Necrogeddon, it's, he kind of has to avoid a Thunder Surge. And a Sleep Moratorium. Draw whatever he wants. He, what do he pick? He picks something. How, how many resources? So if you, if you play that for three, for five, he got back... Four. So he chose someone for four resources. I guess he chose Damon Curse. Or but Damon Curse would. Okay, he didn't play. He didn't play. Yeah. Okay. So there's Damon Curse on an Elder. Looks like I was expecting a Damon Curse sooner or later. Definitely helps him take some units out. At least it weakens his units. A lot. He had a lot of units out there. And a Soul Steel now. And he's able to take out a lot of my units here. Not looking too good. Okay. I think I have to st stop ramping up, maybe. <laughs> okay, let's see. Do I go for scrolls and hope for it? Or do I just ramp? I think I'm going to go for scrolls and hope for something now. I have 10 resources. Okay, iron whip. I'm just going to apply everything and then ramp too, though. So if I... By desperation. Desperation that, I can kill that. And then I'm going to... Play the smuggler. 
in front of that. An iron whip just so I can clear some stuff. Wish I had a thunder surge. And give me a two drop. Nope. It's not what I want. Figures that's what I have though in the deck. Okay. We're taking out each other's units. I think it's time for him to, to necro get in. Although I just I just really need my, my second thunder surge. I think I only have two in the deck. I better have two. <laughs> better not just have one. Okay, so he can finally get rid of my uh, Snorgle Omelette. That's given me so many cards. If he wants. Give me something good. Okay, he's not playing Necrogun, because then he would have moved the Blight Bear in front of something before he does it. Not sure if he has Necrogun, he's just waiting for the best spot to play it, but I don't think he does. I think he would have played it by now, because his units aren't that strong. He has one good Witch Doctor. So next turn. It's a beefy unit. These beefy units are hard for me to deal with. He's going to take that out, finally. Burn. Do I pull up Burn? <laughs> Wish I had like that Iron Whip or something. Double Burn. If I burn and burn, I can kill the Witch Doctor, so I think I'm going to do that. So let's burn... Oh no, I can't kill the Witch Doctor. That was stupid. Kind of. Um, it's annoying. Let's, let's burn... some lag. Let's burn the Watcher, I think. So I've taken so, so much lag. Can, can I get that third Thunder Surge at some point, please? I don't think I'm going to win this game. I didn't get the draws I needed when I needed them. I'm not even going to bother playing the pushers. I think he's going to have an unbind, and that, that's, that's really bad for me. I'm going to play this. Jeez. The burns came at the wrong time, that's for sure. Sudden eruption, I don't think I have them there. I think I just have two thunder surges. I have 17 more cards to go through. Next turn. The Uhu is nice, but there's too many, so many creatures. Missing. He's just going to put down more big things now that he has more cards from the uh, Oblivion Seekers. And if he has a Damning Curse or Languid Unbind, I'm just kind of screwed because this, this thing can poison everything. Poison that whole row. Okay, I guess he's not going to do that. Corpse theft. Okay, when that dies, he'll get another one. There's another watcher. Okay, come on. Just give me a Thunder Surge or something. It's about time. <laughs> Gravelock burrows. I don't want that now. And now I just get more Gravelocks. This is not working, guys. Almost want to get rid of that poison guy while I can. Not going well. I'm just going to... Play things, I guess. I'll play the Uhu. Play the Outcast. I'll play the Raider. I'm not going to play the Potion Resonance. I think it's really just going to be met with an Unbind. He's probably been keeping that up for ever since he saw that. Okay, is it is it Necrogun in time? I'm just waiting for it. He obviously has it in the deck if he's running Watchers. He has a lot of things attacking this turn. He could Curse and then Necrogun. Where? Go some more resources. Watcher and then another Necrogun. And that'll be the end of me. Curse? Okay, I wasn't expecting a curse on him. If he was doing a Necrogun, I would have expected a curse in front. Okay, he's gonna do the Brain Lice and Halls. Okay. 
don't think I don't think a uh, thunderstorm would be enough at this point. <laughs> I'd need like some crazy good top decks. Interesting, he just goes for those idols. Okay, at least the poison's gonna make my freak go off every turn. Okay, potion of resistance. I'll get rid of. I need the units, and that's all I get. Okay. I guess I'll get rid of, um, these guys, if there's too much lag right now. Why did I choose gray blocks? <laughs> okay, let's play the guard. And I'll play the raider. Keep the guys that are attacking in front. I'm not going to play the smuggler. I think I need to keep a card in hand. I don't like using all my cards. I have 10 resources and I can't even play them. Maybe this deck is not constructed the best. <laughs> I can't even use like a Desperation on this uh, Gravelock Raider next turn too because of the poison. The poison's gonna make him down, go down to one health. Just end me already. I'm tempted to surrender, but I don't know. Looking at the resources, like I feel I have a chance. Okay. Maybe like a it's probably probably just like damning curse, the freak. It's a big big health guy he has to get rid of. Life stealer, just putting out more BV units. Can't blame him. Can I get my last thunder surge? It would be funny if I literally don't have another thunder surge in the deck. Okay, this harvester. That's gonna be a pain to deal with. I also I think I have like found dispersals I had too. Another uhu. Can't play that right now. And I also got rid of like my Furies and all that too, so really all the cards that I can like do things with are just gone. <laughs> my my early draws in the game were not not good. Okay, I'll keep this guy in front. I'm gonna want to kill the guys that uh problem is the harvester's gonna attack next turn. That harvester is going to attack. And now I have no more elders. Well, I'll make him choose things to attack. Let's put the copper auto here. And let's put the brood here. Let's see what happens. So now, he's not going to neck gun this turn because he has the harvester attacking. Let's see what he takes out. I'm sure he has some way to kill this brood. Okay, Languid is the worst way for him to kill him. <laughs> that draws him a card too. The perfect counter. What's he going to do? Brain like that? Yeah, I think it's too late. Now if I, uh, even if I top deck a Thunder Surge, it doesn't really help it at this point. He has too many, too many beefy things. Rip. Give me a Desperation. A Corrode would be a fun, sneaky win, right? <laughs> and then I can't really do anything about that. Should we stall even more? I'm just going to surrender. I think that's going to be GG. GGWP. I don't have the, the stuff to kill those guys. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Round two, definitely not going smoothly for me. Probably could have been a little better if I maybe stuck to the good decks, but I wanted to show you guys some new things. So thanks for watching.